Okay, so you've managed to form the centers on the 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. And you have white opposite yellow, red opposite orange, and green opposite blue. The next step is going to be forming the edge pieces right here. As you can see on a 3x3, three three, there are only um, there's only one edge piece, so I only have one orange yellow piece. On the 4x4, four four, there are two of them. There's the one orange yellow, and here's the other orange yellow. So before we can solve this like a 3x3, three three, we need to go ahead and solve these two edge pieces. And I'm going to show you how to, how to go ahead and do that. As you can see, this one's already formed right here. Um, let me show you how to form these, these pairs. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to look for two edge pieces that are exactly the same. So I, I kind of go for the white ones first because they're a lot easier for me to spot. So I see there's an orange and white. Here's an orange and white right here. So the first thing you need to do is find a way to pair these up um, so that they are opposite each other like this but they're facing the same direction. As you can see, this, this orange and white one is facing with the white in this direction. This orange and white one is facing with the white also in that direction. So when I turn these two layers, the bottom two layers, that they pair up. Okay. So what you're going to do to pair them up is you're going to turn the bottom two layers. You're going to do, um, you're going to do R, U, R inverted, and then you're going to put the two layers back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you that that again. Okay, so I have my my two pieces like this. Again, you don't want to have the pieces where they're, they are facing each other. You don't want to have them facing each other like this because there's no way for these two to pair up. So you want them so they are uh, opposite of each other like this and then you can pair them up and then you're going to do once you pair them up you're going to do R U R inverted and then you're going to move your two layers back over okay and it doesn't really matter if you do the top or the bottom uh, as as you are uh, as you are doing this I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about it doesn't really matter if if I have my orange and white one on the top I can pull the top two layers over like this or I can pull the bottom two as long as you're pairing them up you can also pair them and you can also pair them uh, across two layers so if I happen to have my um, let me find another one that I can use so here's here's blue and white and here's another blue and white over here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it over there um, so I have white and blue right here and I have white and blue and this is two sides over I can also do it this way so I can pull it two sides pair it up right here and do R U R inverted and I can put back my two sides okay and then I've, I've put them back and I happen to get a free pair right there so that's good now here's the other thing you need to be aware of when you're pairing these up when I'm pairing these up and here's, I'm going to go ahead and find another one. Here's uh, red and yellow. Here's red and yellow. And I'm going to move them into position. You can, you can move these layers all you want. You can move the top. You can move the right, the left, the left, the down. You can move them all you want. You're not going to mess up any pairs or any centers. The only time you'll ever mess up any centers or pairs are if you happen to move two layers like this. And you don't put it back, then you're going to mess stuff up. So I'm going to go ahead and get these two into position. And so I have my red and yellow. I have my red and yellow. And I'm going to pair them up. Now, when I do my R, U, R inverted move, I need to go ahead and make sure that I do not pull in a pair that's already formed, like this one. So if I did this move, this is a pair that's already formed. Now when I put it back, I've just messed up a pair that I've already done. So that's not going to get you're not going to get the all the pair all the edges paired up that way. So what you need to do when you're putting these is you need to make sure you're pulling in a pair that is not solved. And it's it's not very hard to do. You can um, as you're putting the the pair up there, you can look at it and see uh, if it's going to pull in a pair that's already solved. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. First, I see there's green and yellow. 
green and yellow they're facing each other that's not good I'm gonna go ahead and get them into position where I can solve them so here's some moves you can do you just kinda have to play around with the cube so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on top like this and I can see if I pull this down that it's gonna put this one into position now the problem is it messed up my other green and yellow ones so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hide my green and yellow pull this one into position and then put my green and yellow back and so now they are ready to be paired up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it over and then I'm gonna check I, if you're doing the same move I do R U R inverted you're gonna be pulling the back pair in so if I happen to have a pair back here I can still rotate this top layer all I want um, even while I've moved these two down right here it's not gonna mess that up okay so if they're all paired up then you probably want to turn the cube over and you want to do it on the other side I still have two of them on this side top that are not paired up so I'm gonna go ahead and do R U R inverted put them back and I've gotten another free pair right there alright so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the cube over and I still have one right here that's not paired up and so here's here's another pair right here green and orange green and orange I'm going to move my two down layers, pair them up, and now I'm going to rotate my top layer because I only have one pair that's not solved. So I'm going to rotate it in the back, do R, U, R inverted, move it back, and then I have every single pair except for the last two. So there's two scenarios that you can run into. You can either have three, three edges, three pairs of edges that are not solved, and when you solve them, they'll solve naturally or you can run into a situation where you have two pairs and you can't solve them now you can't solve them because if I if I happen to get this into position and paired it up there's no pair that I can pull in that would not be solved already so what you need to do is you need to get the two pairs that are not solved facing each other like this so if they are opposite of each other like this if they're not if they're not facing each other if they're like this with each other that's not gonna work so I'll show you why this won't work so if I pair this up and I do my R U R move there's no pairs up here that are not formed so I'm going to pull in a pair and then when I put my down layer back it's gonna break it up and so that wouldn't really get me anywhere so what you need to do if they're like this and they're they're not facing each other is you need to go ahead and get them so they're facing each other this is not really hard to do it's just hiding one of the pairs moving the other into a position and then putting the other one back and so they're facing each other now you're gonna go ahead and do the following algorithm to fix the last two uh, pairs of edges here it's gonna be both layers down right front inverted up right inverted front and then put both layers back okay, and it's gonna fix those last two uh, pairs and then that 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 means all of our pairs are now solved okay so they're all paired up and this is gonna be step two of the uh, of solving the edges I'm gonna go ahead and show you that algorithm one more time just to make sure that you guys uh, that you understand how that how the algorithm works and I'm gonna put my two my two uh, pairs back so they're not solved anymore okay so again I have my last two pairs and I have them facing each other so these two white these are both white and orange they're both facing each other this is red and white they're both facing each other and again the algorithm I'm going to perform is gonna be both layers down to the right right front inverted up right inverted front and then both layers back down to the left so now these two pairs have been fixed and the rest of them are solved so before you do this algorithm make sure that they're the last two pairs many times I've run into situation where um, I thought they were the last two pairs and then there was a pair back here that was not solved so if you do that algorithm uh, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem and you're gonna probably have to do it again if you haven't made sure that that is definitely the last two pairs.